Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a door that opens and closes in CoSpaces when you click on it. Okie dokie. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is create yourself an environment and once you've created yourself an environment go to the library and you need to build yourself a house. So I'm just going to type in, if I type in door, get myself a door in there and then go to building and I'll just do a couple of brick walls for the moment so to show you how it works so there's a wall there obviously you can do a full house uh, there we go it's about right I would go another brick wall there good there we go so now we've got a door and a brick wall just make that a little bit smaller so it sort of fits about right again you can sort of mess around to get it perfect. So there's your door. Good. Okay. Brilliant. Excellent. So now what we need to do is you need to click on the door, uh, right click on the door and we need to click on code use in code blocks and then we go to coding. Now the, uh, the, the script for the door is actually quite easy. What we need to do is at the start of the um, level when it first loads we need a variable called door and we set the door to closed because at the start of the game the door is closed so this is just going to keep track of whether the door is open or whether it's closed uh, so that it does the right thing so there the door is closed that's okay and now what we say is we need an if statement here we go there's an if statement and we just say uh, so look we have function we need equals there we go there's equal there, that's all right there. Go down to data and get the door in there. Oops, this door just good that bit there. A bit fiddly. Door equals. And if you go down to data again and scroll down to the bottom of it, you'll see this one here with the ABC in it. And we'll set it to, I will just say, okay, if the door equals closed, then we're going to open it. And we'll also set the door status then to open. So set my variable door to open. There we go. So if the door, uh, there we go. Oh, so I made one little mistake here. We need to set this bit of script here to be inside of when the door is clicked. Otherwise, it won't know when to trigger it. There you go. So when the door is clicked, if the door is closed, then we will open it. Otherwise, what we'll do is just right click, duplicate, set door to closed. There we go. So how do we actually get the door to turn? Well, if we type in turn here, we can see that there's quite a few different blocks which you could use. Uh, I was tempted to use this one here around the axes because then you could just spin it around the Z axes. Um, but what it does then is it actually turns, it opens and shuts but it spins right around the center of the door. So that's no good. We need to use the, the origin and we need to offset the origin slightly. We don't know how much yet or which which one to do, but we're gonna use that one here uh, twice. So let's duplicate that one. Let's put it there and let's do the first one. So this one's gonna move clockwise, which means to shut it, we're gonna to need to move it clockwise, anti-clockwise. So, what we do here is set the Z angle to 1, so that it's rotating around the vertical axes. And the origin, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try with, uh, let's try X of 0.5. Um, now this is, this will change depending on whether, which direction your wall is changing. It might be the X, or it might be Y. It might be plus 0.5, or it might be ni minus 0.5. Um, we're going to find out with this one in a second which one it is. Um, but just try setting it. They need to be all identical, whatever you're using. Um, but these two need to be the opposite, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Let's just bring my camera back a bit. And let's try that. If we play that now, if I click on it, oh, perfect. It opens and shuts. But as you probably noticed, um, the door handle's here and it's opening and shutting on the wrong, uh, wrong angle, on the wrong side. So you've got two options there. You can either just spin your door around 180 degrees. Let's see if that works. Let's try that, shall we? No, nope, that's not happening. So in that case, 
0.5 is no good either way. You need to set it to minus 0.5, minus 0.5. So that means we're going to spin it from the, um, the origin is the point at which we spin it. So dead center is zero, minus 0 0.5 obviously must be here, plus must be here. Again, we don't know, it could do it this way if you've built the wall going that way, but we'll just see. You just need to adapt your code, and there you go, nice and simple. Now there is one slight problem here, is that if I start clicking it, if I click it lots of times, it starts to do some really weird stuff. And that's because it starts to, um, when I click on it, it gets to this bit of the code here, and it starts moving it, but then if I click it again, it's still not um, fixed it. So what we need to do there is we need to just change this code slightly. We need another variable, uh, and let's call this one door opening, and we'll set it to false. And what we do here is, so at the start of the game, door opening, it's kind of like a door opening in progress, set it to false. And what we can say is, we'll do another if statement. Uh, there we go. And we'll put all of this code here inside of this if statement. So let me just, there you go, let me just maximize this here so you can see it all. So now you've got the if door equals closed inside of this same if statement here. And what we do now is we have another variable called, um, let's just use this one again. So another one of the equals if, oops, why is that doing that? Uh, go right in the center there. There we are. Let's get rid of that. Maybe it won't let me do that yet until I put the other bits in. If door oh oh that's now behaving really oddly let's try again if ah and it's fixed it now that's a bit of a glitch there you go if door opening equals true uh, oh sorry if door opening so what we say here is to say okay if the door isn't opening so if the door opening is false, then we'll allow you to open the door. Um, it's not even door opening, it's actually, let's call it door moving. Door moving, that's a little bit more, uh, a bit more accurate. If door, uh, so if the door is moving, uh, if the door is not moving, then we do something. But the first thing we do here and here, if the door is not moving, is we set the variable door moving to true and then oh get okay, you go out of the way and what this means now is that this code will only fire once and whilst all of this code here is um why is that door moving now you go there there you go uh, whilst the um, whilst all of this code is executing, whatever bit of code is executing, it's set the code door moving to two, true, which disables any further clicking. And all we need to do here at the end is not there. It needs to go inside of the here, right there, inside of the if door moving equals false one. There we go. Right at the end. There you go. And then we set the door moving to false. Flares? No, false. Good. So that hopefully now should dis uh, disable double clicking of the door. There you go. Opens, it shuts. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay, I had a quick look there, and what I'd done wrong there is I had set the variable do moving to true instead of door moving to true. So a nice quick uh, quick fix there. I thought I'd done that completely wrong. But uh, if you make sure that's set to door moving to true, now if you click on it, if you click on it many times, you can probably hear me clicking, it still only does that once. 
there you go brilliant perfect now uh, it, what you have to do if you've got more than one door in your scene then you'll have to create uh, door to to close door moving to so you'd have to duplicate those variables uh, and just duplicate all of this code there but you can get it working for as many doors as you like just make sure you you set it to the new door there etc uh, etc et there you go okay I hope that helps thank you